Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, the question we are going to answer is what's in the box? What I have here is a lesser known, no one seems to know these exist, Robotech board game. Ever since Palladium Games lost the Robotech license, a bunch of other companies have scooped them up and have been putting out games. This one in particular is from Solar Flare Games. This is the second Robotech game they have put out, set in the Robotech Masters universe, the second series that came out, um, where this is Robotech Crisis Point. And this would be in the second series of games. This is a two-player game that plays in about 40 minutes. It says ages 14 plus. I know nothing about this game except I love Robotech, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. So again, I am Mo Tuzan of the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. For those of you here on YouTube, you can find a link to that just up here. If you click the little I, it'll pop down. The other thing you'll find a link to there is a link to our Patreon account. If you do appreciate this video and you like the content we've been putting out, it would be awesome if you considered tipping the bellhop. Moving on, what I am going to do is let you know what's on the back of this box. It says, War Returns. Following the annihilation of Earth, human survivors struggle to rebuild their once great planet, only to be faced with a new threat. The Robotech Masters arrive to complete the mission that the Zentradi Armada began, to reclaim the coveted protoculture by destroying the Army of the Southern Cross. You and your opponent deploy your mecha and combat units battling to gain control of the Earth. Using your dynamic heroes and commands, can you turn the tide of war? Will you save the Earth as the army of the Southern Cross, or will you seize the Earth and recover the secrets of polar culture as the Robotech Masters? So what I'm going to do is get the shrink wrap off this box as soon as I find my where I put my, my hobby knife. Oh, well, didn't need it. We're all good. Now we're going to toss this down on the table over here and take a look at what you get in the box with Robotech Crisis Point. All right, here you have it, the box for Robotech Crisis point, that is the front. Not a lot in the back besides some information. That's the back. What we're going to do is take a look at what we got here. All right, we are starting off with a game board. Solar Flare really wants to know, oh, no, it's their game board. Well, that's a nice size. So, wow, we are going to, if I had realized this, I would have opened it the other way. So we have a spot, put lots of cards on here. Unfortunately, I can't zoom out any further. We're going to pull this up. You can kind of see here. There you go. Full board. Uh, this is going to take some work flattening out. But yeah, that's flattening out well enough. I love the artwork on this board. It's really nice. Uh, Single-sided mounted board. Up next, we have a baggie with some very, very thin punch boards. Wow, okay, surprisingly thin. I can just feel it in the, this container. All right, this is gonna reseal. Okay, so we have really thin punch boards here. Almost all blue, which is regrettable because um, the camera I have down here these just want to punch right now. Like you can see, they're trying to come out. So they are cut adjacent to each other, like old Hex and Counter War games. So you can kind of see the counters here. The yellow ones will, of course, show up better. These really want to pop out. I'm trying really hard not to have them fall out on me. They're two-sided. These you'll be able to see a lot better since they're not in blue. Whole ton of counters. And like I said, these, they, they want to come out of here. You can see they're buckling and trying to pop out on me. Trying to keep them in here for now. All right, next we have the field manual, which I assume is the rule book. Not a lot here. Uh, it's a fairly thin looking one. A lot of grays. It's got an interesting, it's got the, the people have written in the book style. I always appreciate that. Here's how to set up the board. Example of gameplay. From what I understand, the gameplay in this is similar to the other games that this company has put out. That's it. So we're only looking at nine pages. So this looks fairly simple. Then we have baggies. Always appreciate baggies to go with all of the stuff we're going to be putting in there. Do appreciate the baggies. A 
We have a deck of cards, which we're going to crack out. Oh, there's an ad for Unfiltered Gamer here. Board game news, reviews, and giveaways. I'm going to see how I get a Tabletop Bellhop card in there like that. That'd be kind of awesome. I would love to see a Tabletop Bellhop card included with some board games. Good job, Unfiltered Gamer, getting your logo in there. All right. So we do have a bunch of ads here. So we have an Unfiltered Gamer card. So what we're going to do here is try to zoom in on that. There we go. So we have an ad for Unfiltered Gamer, as well Impact Miniatures. So I don't know, they, they, they just got like a bunch of sponsors here. GMT Magazine, someone who does chainmail artwork. I have never seen a bunch of random ads in a board game before. It's really odd. Ads for games from other companies like Herbaceous and Roleplayer. Um, start your collection of Titan Comics. All right, so we have a bunch of ads. Oh, this is cool. So in here I have... Let's get the advertisements out of the way. So it says, this is the end of the crisis point. The next two cards are bonus cards for the Grand Canyon expansion for First of Arms. So it included two expansions for another game. It's a nice touch. We have Min May Song and Bombardment. So we got to keep those a little separate. And what we got here? We have all kinds of cards that just all say the same thing on the back. No. Nope. So we're going to see if we can split these into decks. Okay, so this says locations. These say unit. If unit cards. And, oh, there's more. Let's double check. Yeah, okay, there's more. So... Unit cards. Objective cards, hero cards, command cards, <laughs> combat cards. There we go. That's all. Oh, no, no, no. There's more. And the base card. So you go all kinds of cards just for the Robotech Masters here. So I'm going to grab a random location card. We'll show that off. Barracks of the 15th. Well, this might be the Southern Cross, or I don't even know. New armor. We're going to try to find a card that's not almost all blue. Another outpost card. We have football, foot hold the base. And we'll move over to unit cards. Oh, they're so blue. No, so these are definitely are the Robotech Masters. I apologize. My camera is set to make blue transparent, so... That's cool looking. Parabellum biroids. All right, next we have objectives. Oh, they're just text. Capture at least two strategic locations and so on. So we have a bunch of objective cards. Then we get into heroes. We, of course, have the Robotech Masters. Definitely recognize them from the series. Again, blue hair, which becomes transparent. Here we go. This will be a little better to see. Then we move on to the command cards. Artwork's fantastic, right from the show. Just wish it didn't have so much blue, for, but that's only for the sake of showing these off. Okay, and then combat cards. Soldier bioroids. Again, they're all blue. There we go, here's a red bioroid, a commander bioroid. And finally, the base. Then we're going to jump over, and I assume we're going to have the exact same thing over here. We have a number of units, objectives, heroes, command, combat, and a base. So going in reverse order this time, we have the RDF base, United Earth Command, 
it's mostly blue. Uh, some command cards. Here we go. These, you can see the full, full shebang here. The cards do have a nice linen finish on them. A little bit of a finish. They're a little thin, but not too bad. Like, that's decent card quality. All, again, all artwork from the show. We're going to move on to the heroes. The hero of the show, Dana Sterling. Probably the most well-known character from this series. Move on to the units. Your hover cycle squad. Various battleoids on blue background. So everything's on a blue background here. So Objective cards, same deal as the other deck. Just a bunch of text. And finally, combat cards. There is the, the main mecha we're used to seeing. The hover tanks from the Master Series. Again, there's a lot of blue here, so... One in the, the stand-up formation. And that is it. That is all we got. That's all she wrote. Two different decks, one for each character. Uh, it's worth noting... Oh no, this is the location deck. I was going to say they're different sizes. They appear to be... Yeah, they're both the same size, both decks. We're going to grab these, put everything back in the box. I'm still really amused at this pile of advertising. I've never seen that before. I don't know if it was a Kickstarter, and if you backed at a certain level, they put your card in the box. I don't know. It's a really interesting design choice I've never noticed before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip these underneath over here, because I don't need those. I'm going to bother, not bother keeping this. I'm just going to toss this. The punch boards came in. See what I mean about the mind to punch themselves? Look at that. That's going to fall apart by the next time I try to do this. The rule book on top. I forgot the baggies. We'll just toss the baggies on top here. Desk packages and other garbage. Um, that is what you get in Robotech crisis point letting you play out the second robotech series north american robotech series of the robotech masters we're at the army of the southern cross battling against the robotech masters so uh, another card driven game from signal fire studio signal fire games solar flare sorry solar flare games my bad solar flare games um this is the second game in a series of three if you want to see what you get in the other games, check out my unboxing videos on YouTube at youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop. If you're looking for me anywhere on the web, it's just tabletopbellhop. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, MeWe, wherever you want to find me, tabletopbellhop. You can also head over to the webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, a link for which you can find up in this corner. So for the Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno. I'm looking forward to checking out these Robotech games. Lots of great looking artwork. I'm hoping they stand up to the license they are based on. Good night and game on.